Hello everyone, my name is Ahmed Chaldoud. Let's make a Vue 3 multi-language web application that allows the user to change the interface language. Okay, let's install Vue i18 in the internationalization plugin for Vue.js. We use version 9. After the installation, we will create a new file uh, in source folder. Uh, we'll name it i18n.js. This file will be for uh, the configuration. Okay, we will create a JSON file for each language, for Arabic and English, okay? So, we'll create a new folder, uh, local, uh, localize. Okay, and for the Arabic language will be ar.json and for English language will be en.json. We need to remember that in every property, the key must be the same in all files and the value holds the translation. Okay. So, let's here uh, translate uh, the word uh, home. So, in English, here, here the key will be home and the value will be home. And the key about, so for the word about, the translation will be about, okay? We'll copy that and put it here in Arabic and we will change the value to be Araisaya and about Mannahnu. So we will use home and about. Okay. Okay, let's create our configuration file here. Um, we will import the two uh, translations files. As you can see here, we just imported. Uh, en.json and ar.json The load local message function is for getting the translation key and value for the package. The last thing is creating and configuring the package via create i18 and we set the main language as en for the English and the fallback language as en as well and finally we load the translation. Okay, let's add the i18 to our application in source mean to GS, we will import uh, the configuration file here. Okay, let's use the properties from the translations file, the ar.json and en.json, here in the navigation bar. Okay, we will use uh, the property key here. But first, we'll use a dollar sign plus T and home. And we'll do the same thing with about. Okay, let's run our server and test. Okay, now here is uh, home and uh, about in the navigation bar. And if we change it from the configuration file, the local to AR for the Arabic. Now, okay, it work is fine. Okay, let's add to the navigation bar uh, an option for change uh, the website language and the direction from left to right or right to left. So here, here we use this uh, package uh, object to know the current application language. And we added a drop down selection a form in board for changing the website language. And it will do that automatically if we try to change the value of um, the i18.local with one language from um, the source local, uh, locals files. So here, a live test. 
So that's all. Thank you for watching. I hope you like and subscribe if you find that uh, useful for you. Thank you.